Animal Tracking for Kids with Aeon and Ryan. Today we found we're going to make a plaster cast of some new wolf tracks. Alrighty, so the first part, I like, I hate to see it, a soda cup. Something that's flexible and that can bend. Because if the plaster dries, it's really easy to get it out. So I also like to be very thoughtful of our environment and make sure we are able to clean up every little bit and leave no um, nothing behind. So I brought a trash bag so that we could do this over the top of the trash bag and we won't make a mess. All right, Ryan, let's kneel down here. All right, can you hold this? Now the first thing we need is water. Can you hold my water cup? All right. About half full because we're not going to fill it up all the way to the top. Now, I have plaster of Paris right here in a little container that I like to carry around. And Ryan happens to have a spatula, but you can use all kinds of different things. A nice straight stick will do fine as well, as long as you take the plaster covered stick with you when you're done. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you, Ryan, is you, uh, you hold that and you stir while I pour in plaster. Got it. Until I say we're stuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're doing great. If you can, on occasion, scrape the sides. There you go. Let's move it a little closer to the inside of this trash bag. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Keep going. We need more. There you go, keep going and stir, 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 stir. When it starts to be about the thickness of a milkshake, that's when we're ready. Now in the meantime, if you see over here, Ryan has built a little bit of a dam around our track to hold the plaster in. A lot of times you can use sticks and mud as well. Okay, get more. All right, keep stirring please. Now, I'm going to stop for a second. Let's scrape a little bit off the sides of our uh, spatula. I like a... That's pretty runny still. We're going to keep going. Okay. Let me pour. There we go. Keep going. Yeah. Now, plaster is going to set up into a solid once we let it dry and um, set. So... We have to be thoughtful. We can't take too much time to do this. At least 30 minutes. Yes, after we put it and pour our mold, we're gonna let it set 30 whole minutes. Ooh, that's feeling pretty good. Just a little bit more. Okay, oh no, you stir, I pour. Hold the cup, please. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, that looks good. Let's see. I'm going to scrape the sides. Scrape off my spatula a little bit. Scrape the sides some more. Oh, yeah. That's feeling pretty good. Let me make sure here. Got to stir all the way down to the bottom. Okay, ready? I think we're good to go. This is nice. Alrighty, now, when we pour this, I'm going to hold the spatula over the track, and you're going to pour it down the top of the spatula. This way it doesn't immediately ruin the track. Ruin the track, that's right. So, go right ahead. Okay, keep pouring, keep pouring, keep pouring. Whoa, our dam's a little... Okay, stand up. And then I burp it. I splash it a little bit, and I work all the bubbles out. Burp, 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 burp. Working out those bubbles. So real shallow, so you don't actually disturb the track. And apparently our dam leaked. So next time, we need a lot more material for our dam. But now, let's take a look at our clocks. And we're going to come back in 30 minutes 
and we'll be able to pull up our track. Commercial break. Alrighty, welcome back. It's been 30 minutes later and our goal is to get our plaster cast at least half an inch thick. If it's any thinner than that, it's too fragile and it will break. So Ryan has peeled away our outer uh, dam and we had a leak. So we're going to very carefully kind of break off some of this extra here. Can you break any of that off? Oh, it is feeling a little moist. Oh, see this? Use this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that is a little moist. What do you think? A little more time? Yeah, maybe a minute or two. Yeah, we're going to give it just a few more extra minutes. In the meantime, we're going to clean up our other mess here. And um, take the rocks very the carefully plastic. peel it up. Welcome back. And last time we left off, when we were making our plaster cast of the wolf track, it started to get a little dark on us. So we couldn't continue filming at that point. But now we have it completed and we've brought it back for you. Um, it is really cool how some of this dirt actually shows some of the detail that we're looking at. Now, from the side over there, Ryan, can you point out our claws? So this thing came out absolutely beautiful. I've been pretty impressed with how well, and it gives, gives us a keepsake now to be able to take home. And also, in the future, if scientists want to, they can take scientific measurements off of this as well. So um, this came out fabulous, and we did... <laughs> 